Hey everybody, welcome back to the uh, Roku Guide channel. Uh, I'm your Roku guy, I'm going to be your Roku guide today. Uh, I'm going to help you simplify the Roku machine a little bit more. We're going to go into more of the settings today, uh, and the features that lie within that, whether it's updating your system, uh, having different display types, or you wanting to pair a remote, all this and more in today's episode of the Roku Guide. So right now we're uh, at the home screen. Uh, you can see I've got my home channel set up there, and we're going to drop down to settings here. You don't have to go all the way down, you can actually just move one up with your remote there, and uh, you're right in your settings. So, from settings, uh, first up is our network. Excuse me. Um, we're going to looking at our network. Right now I'm in a wired connection, right? I got my Ethernet connection set up, and as you can see, I have the ability to set up a new wireless connection if I wanted to go wireless, if I don't have an Ethernet cable or if my modem is in a different place in the house, right? Uh, my other Roku, for example, is set up wirelessly, does not have the modem next to it, so uh, that one is connected wirelessly. Or wired, simply just stick your Ethernet cable into your Roku and boom, you're connected. Um, you can update that connection at any time you'd like as well. If you want to, uh, if you feel like uh, maybe you know I'm not uh, I'm not getting the best out of it, boom boom, make the connection. All three checks, as long as they're all three checks, you're good, and uh, you move right along there. So uh, from network, we have our themes. Uh, themes is actually kind of fun. I, my, one of my little favorite parts of the Roku, what they have to offer there. Uh, you have different themes. Okay, right now you have the default. Uh, there's graphene, as you can see, it's uh, dark gray. Uh, a little decaf, a little um, coffee color, perhaps a nebula, a little more blue daydream, as you can see. Uh, I'm set on the Roku default. I got the checkbox next to it. Just here, let's just go daydream just to change it. it. takes about a minute or two. Now, what I believe is with all these themes, I've always kept mine on the default, uh, but it doesn't matter what theme you have. If you want the Roku to kind of switch up on you on a special day, whether it's Mother's Day, Thanksgiving, March Madness Day, and it kind of gives you this new look in the background. There's going to be a button I'm going to show you. Just You're going to make sure that it's checked off right after we see this daydream theme. Oh, cool. This is kind of nice. So you can see a little checkbox is a little different here. The box around it, the whole background is a little bit different. Uh, and here, let's go back to the home screen. So you can just see it's a little bit nicer look, a little bit of a different look. So you can keep this theme if you'd like as well. Um, we're going to go back to the original theme just to continue with this episode as you can see the, the purple Roku default and then I'm going to show you that little button that I was just mentioning about that you want to keep it checked on so that Roku gives you a new look whenever they come in with their own idea. Um, it could be July 4th and the whole Roku might be filled with American flags. So this and a lot more that Roku has just make sure that little box there is checked under custom settings and you'll be able to get Roto's latest theme. Moving on to the screensaver aspect of it, mine is currently disabled but if you'd like to add a screensaver you can have a digital clock, an analog clock, you can add your own default screensaver um, if you have one. I do not have one, this is the Roku default and as you can see this is kind of nice, it has little movies that, that scroll by and you can actually select those movies through hitting the play or pause button on your Roku. Moving on, if the wait time, you can select between 1 minute, 5 minutes, 10 and 30 minutes. Down to display type, okay, I feel that this is a overlooked issue a lot in the beginning stages of Roku. A lot of people when they connect their Roku for the first time, they notice that it's not working with their television. A lot of reasons why is because their display type is wrong. So as you can see here, we're on 720. Check that your TV is in fact a 1080p if you want to go to the 1080p settings. A lot of people think that their TV is a 1080p when actually in fact it's a 720p TV. You'll still get the HD with the 720, but there is a difference between the television itself. So just make sure that you're on the right setting and your Roku will work just fine. Next up, closed captions. So if you want closed captions, obviously, I, you can see that mine is off there with the checkbox, but if you want closed captions, you can simply just turn it on. And you can change the text style, the size, 
the background color and the window color as well for the remote. Now, if you have an enhanced remote, like one with the voice activation or the gaming, you can actually pair that remote simply by clicking pair remote. Roku will give you a set of instructions. You will hold down a button that's in the back of your Roku, uh, the back of your Roku remote on the side there. You hold down that button for just a few seconds. Try to point it towards the Roku. Sorry about that. There it is. And a little screen will pop up saying that it's pairing the remote. And you'll be able to use the remote for all your needs. So just quickly, now you can see that we have this remote. Hit the home screen. And let's use the voice activation. Fargo. And boom, you can see Fargo worked great there, um, along with other things that can relate to Fargo as well. But as you can see here, the uh, pairing of the remote works just fine. And we can now keep going on with our tutorial. So back to the settings. We scroll through remote, audio. Change whether or not you want this little buttons thing here, the sound of, the, of you moving along, you know, every time you just click a thing, if you want it low, if you want it off completely. As well as your audio mode, make sure that you're connected to the right setting. I have mine on auto, so that it automatically detects. Same here with the HDMI. My home screen. The option whether or not you want to keep the movie store and TV store Fandango options there or the news. So you have the ability to remove these three from your home screen. Back to settings. Last thing up from home screen, we're going to have our system. And this kind of just gives you an overview of our Roku system. You can see Roku player, the type of player, there's my email. Time zone. USB, whether or not you want to control other devices, tell your TV to automatically switch its active source to the Roku, language if you want English or other languages, screen mirroring, right, if you want to be able to use your phone and connect it to your Roku, so you can take whatever you're viewing on your phone and you can switch it to your Roku. Enable, disable. System update. Always check that your system is updated. Very important. A lot of times your system is not up to date. You're missing out on current features, new abilities within apps. Always check. It's good to check. It takes two seconds. Sometimes it'll give you a boost drive you don't even know you need. Go back. System restart yourself. Right? If you just want to turn on your Roku on and off again. You want to do a complete factory reset. If you want a network connection reset, or if you want to connect the device, right? So we had that before. So let's say I'm in a hotel room and I want to be able to connect my smartphone and my tablet to the Roku, right? And use my Roku in that hotel room. Absolutely. Just enable device connect and you are able to connect it. Third party lawyer stuff and privacy. Uh, here's the ability to limit ad tracking. If you have this check box on, sorry, then you are have the ability to disallow Roku to not, so the ads are not personalized towards you, so that you're not really sharing information back to different companies in terms of what you're viewing. Um, if you have it off, then you are sending that information and your ads will be more personalized to, towards you. And that's about it for our settings. Really does cover everything in our settings. So we have our network themes, screen saver, display types, captions, remote, the audio, the home screen, and our system. If there's any questions or anything I can help you with, please do not hesitate to comment below. Thank you for watching. I'm the Roku Guy, and I hope I've been able to help you out in your streaming experience. Subscribe today. Please be on the lookout for more videos in the future. Happy streaming, everybody.